starting here on the snare. So, dude, awesome. Thank you, man. Awesome job. Yeah. Awesome job. But something I really found I need to work on is like fills and like how to apply that to a song. Okay. So like I can play them fine, but I just have trouble like applying them to a song. Okay. And like the transition into and out of the fill. Okay, so going into them successfully mm -hmm. and coming out of them successfully, mm -hmm. playing the groove you mean to, when you mean to, that kind of a thing. Yeah. Let's start with something simple so I can see where you are with things, okay? okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to start with, with a groove that's pretty simple. It's going to be one and two, three and four, okay. kind of the we will rock you groove. We're gonna do the drum fill, and then we're gonna go to the ride cymbal, as if we were going from a verse to a chorus. And the drum fill is gonna be super simple, and you may be like, I got that one. And if you got that one, we'll complicate it a little bit, all right? So the first one is gonna be. That'll be mine. Yours will be. Okay? So let's start a little slow. We'll play the groove, one bar, fill, one bar, ride cymbal. that one when we come back into that groove boom boom we want 100% success you played yeah I skipped the, uh, the double kick yep so with this we want to play what we want to play when we want to play it how we want to play it Three. Now I want you to go hi-hat, fill, ride cymbal, fill. Hi-hat, fill, right, let's go back and forth, okay? Hey. Mess that one up, okay? Yeah, so you, you hear it when you messed it up, right? We messed that drum beat up, didn't we? Now you're playing. I know these seem like nitpicky things, but those are the kind of things that you have to go, I played an extra 16th note, I didn't mean to play that 16th note. It's not that it's bad. Yeah. You didn't mean to play it. All right, let's try it again. I'm noticing is when you come back in the first one you go or so again it's that little like oh we didn't mean to do that Now you're playing it more successfully each time. All right, and that's what we want is more successful repetitions. Now let's try to shape that drum fill a little bit and add some dynamics. It's gonna be. So we start soft and get loud. Do that with me, just the fill. Three, four. Okay, so now we're adding shape to it. All right, I'm gonna make it one, one thing harder before we change the fill a little bit. We're gonna go in between two different grooves now. Can you play that one? Groove A is we will rock you. Groove B is... Okay, let's do one bar and one bar. Okay, do you understand why we're only doing one bar of each before we do the drum fill? Because we'll never do that in music. It's really just not going to happen. So we don't forget the dynamics on the. So we don't for, and because we're wanting to hit the problem. The problem is that you you can play the groove A, 
You can play groove B. You can play the drum fill. The problem is the transition. Yeah. So what we want to do is create what's called a feedback loop where we hit the problem as many times as possible. of those times you played the first groove the first half of it and then they played the second groove the first half of the second yeah. so that's what we're trying to do is get us thinking ahead and changing that just like that okay So you're hitting it more successfully now. Now let's do three bars of time, one bar of drum fill, and expand it down into more of a musical context. Okay. We missed the groove going in there. I lost uh, count of the... Yeah, and two of those times we came into the drum fill late, all right? So you see how, like, what we're doing is incrementally making this harder. We're tackling one little problem at a time, and once you're like, oh, cool, I can do a groove, fill, groove, fill, groove, fill, then it's like, okay, well, let's put it in music now. You're still wanting to come back in and go. Like that's kind of like I call those um, musical hiccups. It's like we didn't really mean to do it, but it didn't. It didn't mess anything up. I just kind of stuttered over it, you know. And it's not that they're bad. Sometimes they're part of your style. Now let's take that. You're doing great with this, by the way. Thank you, sir. One, three, four. Let's try it first with groove at one, so that we will rock you groove. Now we're going to put that in place and try to expand to groove two. Okay. One bar at a time, that drum fill, groove two, one bar at a time, drum fill, back and forth. Okay. Now that you can do that, three bars a time, drum fill, groove two, three bars, drum fill. Got it? Okay, so we worked through this process with all the drum fills. Yeah. And eventually, we're able to pull off a lot of stuff that we couldn't do before. How are you with that um, pattern we've been working on in, in the sessions? Um. Can you do that, Phil? Yeah. All right, let's try that just on the snare drum.
what I want us to do now is give it shape. So now accent the right hand and take it around the toms. Ba 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 goom, ba 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 goom, ba 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 goom, ba 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 goom. Like that, just like that. Oh, you're accenting with the right hand. Accent so. Let's play that over and over a couple times together. Okay. Just the fill. Starting here on the snare. Good. Let's just do the fill over and over. So. Go. So let's keep trying to give that shape, and then we're going to go into the drum fill. Play the groove one, drum fill, groove one, drum fill, groove one. Just stay with groove one for right now. So I, I find myself, I struggle, I can do this motion better. I feel like I'm struggling. I don't know why I'm struggling accenting with that. Never mind. It's okay. Hey, so let's take the accent out right now. Take the accent out. Don't think about that. We'll think about that later. Let's just focus on going around the toms and the pattern right now. Yeah. Okay, don't worry about the accent. Now let's go back and forth between groove one and groove two. Now you're starting to nail it pretty successfully. All right, now three measures of time, one bar of the drum fill, three measures of groove two, drum fill, back and forth. You ready? Awesome, that's perfect. So, dude, awesome. Thank you, man. Awesome job, yeah. awesome job. This lesson was taken from one of our recent drum camps here at the SDS Studios. There's a couple of spots left for the 2022 schedule. The link is below in the video description as well. 2023 schedule will be released very soon. And if you're having trouble with your drum fills, be sure to watch this video where I point out the most common drum fill mistakes and tell you how to fix them.